Almost 24 hours after authorities say he kidnapped his two-year-old son, Brandon DeBose is back in custody. DeBose, a familiar face to local law enforcement. Documents show he has been convicted of numerous misdemeanors and felonies going back to 1997. Most of them involve weapons, vehicles, and domestic violence. Authorities say DeBose's previous visit to jail was last month for domestic abuse in Sumter County. He was released on bond. For his wife and kids, it's been a nightmare ever since. All he's done in the 11 days since he's been out is stalk these children and her and send text messages about what he intended to do to that child. And it was all about to inflict pain on her through the child. DeVos will face additional charges this time. He assaulted 11-year-old stepdaughter uh, when she tried to stop him when he was taking the two-year-old. That's an assault right there. Sheriff Garrett says he promises to punish DeVos to the fullest extent of the law, hoping he will stay behind bars permanently. He's lost his right to walk the walk the streets. He's lost that right as far as I'm concerned. He doesn't deserve a bond here because if bond him out, he's going to do it again. A scenario officials hope will be avoided for good this time. In Clarendon County, Zohab Hasnali, watch Fox News.